The high-speed racing genre has been pretty dead as of late, and that's a real shame. Now, I will grant you that there were never really that many games that you could place in this specific category, and with the disappearance of both Wipeout and F-Zero, there's really not much of a genre left. But that makes every new one of them that comes out somewhat of a valuable treasure. As of late, high-speed racing games have seen somewhat of an indie resurgence, however. This week, I'm looking at Fast Racing Neo, developed as an exclusive for the Wii U. Thankfully, it doesn't use any of the Wii U's special features. The developers don't try to cram in some weird touch or motion control mechanic where none belongs. Instead, Shinnan just set out to make a really great high-speed racing game. And the game that came out in the end is a really well-made one of those. Given its platform of choice, it is, appropriately enough, very much in the F-Zero vein. This game has no weapons or anything to wreck your opponents. It's entirely about your skill at making your way through the courses as fast as you possibly can. But what makes it interesting and worth playing instead of just going back to one of the old F-Zero games is the color switching mechanic they've added. When your vehicle is in orange mode, orange pads along the track will serve as boosts, and blue pads will slow you down. When you're in blue mode, the opposite is true. It's the game's one truly unique mechanic, and thankfully, it's really well done. The most important thing to a game like this, however, is its difficulty curve. High-speed racing games do have a tendency to get extremely difficult, especially as they get faster and faster and faster as you go up in difficulty levels. It's extremely important, therefore, that any game in the genre does a good job of easing the player into it without coddling them. And Fast Racing Neo does that better than most games do. You always feel like you're being pushed, but you never feel like you're being pushed too hard or too fast. It's difficult, but it never becomes impossible, and it doesn't make the mistake of having a few easy levels and then tossing you into the deep end. It's a gradual curve, and by the time you reach the end of it, you'll be quite impressed by where you've gotten. That said, this game also makes some of the mistakes most commonly made by its contemporaries, most notably in the realm of artificial intelligence. The AI in this game is among the most rubber bandy I've ever seen. You're always right in the midst of the pack. No matter how fast you're going, the AI always manages to be right there with you. It can definitely add to the tension of the game, and that's the point, but it also means that if you make a mistake, the game is going to punish you for it severely, no matter how well you've done in the rest of the race. Still, if you're up for a challenge, I think this game, out of all the games that are part of this genre revival, nails the feeling of those old games the best, especially if you're looking for something like F-Zero. Fast Racing Neo is great at conveying that feeling of being right on the edge, almost being completely out of control of your vehicle. You feel like you're holding on just by the seat of your pants the whole time. But you are holding on, and everything you'd expect to be here is here. A large selection of tracks, a number of different difficulties, and a difficulty curve that challenges you while still being reasonable, and eventually taking you to levels of skill and speed that you never could have imagined reaching when you first started playing. The lack of weapons will probably be a bummer for Wipeout fans, but this game is an adrenaline rush in a way that you don't see that often anymore, and I think it's well worth playing just for that. On In Case You Missed It, I look at games that were either ignored when they came out or have been forgotten since games that a lot of people have missed. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.